Hey, this is Mark Walker. I'm going to show you today how to do um, some very, very simple things in role cleanup. Um, often this is really important right before you get engaged in doing a segregation of duties um, project, because often you'll have all sorts of what we call phantom conflicts. Conflicts that are due to permissions that people have but aren't using. And there's some tools in StrongPoint that help you do this, but there's also some tools in NetSuite that help you act on it. So in principle, what I've done is I've, I've taken a look at the sales order, use of sales order transactions uh, in our NetSuite account. And if you'll notice, um, what I've done is I've gone to a report that StrongPoint provides called Transactional Activity by Role, and I've selected sales orders. And um, I've left all the roles open, and I said I only care about activity that has occurred in the last six months. And what the report shows me is that the administrator role is being used in a bunch of different ways. Um, in fact, you might want to look into this because I have administrator uh, um, creation of, of sales orders uh, in the account. That shows up on another report, by the way, that's in StrongPoint for as part of your compliance. But it also shows that scripts are, are touching sales orders under the administrator permission, which is uh, quite common, but something we need to think about. And then um, we also have some mass updates executing as administrator. But what I'm really trying to find out is, is which of the non-administrator roles actually have this permission and are using it, because I don't want to remove permission from these roles. So I can see that the flow accountant role, the flow bookkeeper role, and the flow sales manager role are all using this permission, and they're all using it to either create or edit. And you can see that actually that, the, that they're each actually using it to edit. So they're actually modifying sales orders, um, probably as part of the approval process. So we, we want to, the, what we can tell though is no other roles other than administrator, flow accountant, bookkeeper, and sales manager are editing or creating sales orders. So we can go ahead and remove the ability to create or edit sales orders from all the other, um, all the other roles. Now doing, figuring out which ones these are is super simple. Um, you can go to, uh, there's lots of different ways you can do this, but the way that's most effective in this case is, is to go to the mass updates. And of course, it's just your normal mass, mass updates under list, mass update, mass updates. And then there's a part of the mass updates that is very um, unknown and very highly useful in this context capability, the add or edit permission on roles. And when I select this, I can select what permission I care about. So in this case, I care about the sales order permission. Right? And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to remove it. So I could set it to none. But that would be crazy because what that might do is break the navigation. What I can't tell from system notes is that nobody's looking at sales orders. People might be looking at sales orders all the time. And in fact, certainly our other members of our finance team uh, and commission teams, those people would look at the sales orders but not edit them. What I want to do is therefore set it to view. And um, when I set the permission to view, that means all the navigation that they have in their various centers. So if you're in classic mode, like an, uh, like an administrator, you would see uh, it under the transactions tab. If you were in a sales related role, you would see it you know, also under the transactions tab, but a different version of the transactions tab. And so we want the navigation to stay the same. We just, and we want people to see the, the sales orders. We just don't want to be able to create them or change them. And then I can go through and I only care about um, roles that actually have this permission. So I don't want to look at every single role. I want to find out which roles actually have the sales order permission. And I can see it right here, right? And I can just set the permission and set a filter, okay? So when I go to preview, what I'm now able to see is all the roles. There are 27 roles that have the um, sales order permission. Now I would suggest that well, you think very carefully about whether you should change anything that comes from a uh, an outside bundle, and um, um, you may need to uh, think about this more carefully. But changing the reason why we don't want to change permissions on these roles is they're probably going to get put back whenever the bundles get gets updated anyway. So it's not going to really do us a lot of good. So we're going to have to deal with those separately. But then we can go through and say, okay, well, which of the roles do I need to keep um, with, the, with the edit or their existing access? And if you remember, it's the flow accountant, the flow bookkeeper, and the flow sales manager. And so if I go and pick the flow accountant, 
I can click the flow bookkeeper and I can pick the flow sales manager. Now, if you, if you recall, there's of course the administrator roles on here as well. And obviously you can't edit the administrator roles. The control for administrator roles is a report that shows all transactional activity by administra administrators and um, because you can't actually edit the role itself. That means that all the rest of these roles um, can be automatically changed from having the create or edit version of the permission to the view permission. Now, you notice I didn't actually filter for the permission level at the beginning. It doesn't matter because we're putting it to view anyway. So we don't, if they already had view, it won't make a change. If they didn't have view, if they had a create or edit, it'll set it, it'll set it to view. And so all I now do is hit the perform update. Now, this will have two effects. If you're using StrongPoint, it will, first of all, clean up all the roles so you're not going to get conflicts. So any of the um, SOD conflicts you would have had by having um, you know, sales order editing permission and some other permission, those conflicts are not going to appear now. And secondly, um, if you already run your SOD analysis in StrongPoint, this will automatically clean up any of those conflicts. So if you had already, if you can do this either before you run your SOD rules in your first time through the process or afterwards in order to resolve them. Yeah, StrongPoint is smart enough to be able to connect those two things together. Now, I'm an in-production account, and um, I'm just using our data for demonstration purposes, and I'm not the administrator, so I'm not going to make this change right now. If you were doing this, you would, of course, do this first in your Sandbox account. Uh, super easy to do, super useful, and, um, and see the outcome. But our recommendation is that you establish this as part of your access review. Uh, many people are doing access reviews by simply uh, talking to people and saying, do you need, still need this permission? I think every NetSuite customer, every NetSuite company should, should put in place a policy that says, if you haven't used a permission in six months, we're setting it to view. And you, don't, you no longer sit there and ask people um, whether or not they're, they're using the permission. Um, you you just do it as a matter of a matter of course. This is going to make your access reviews go so much more quickly. And even if you even if you have a process of identifying it or explaining to people, it'll still go much much more quickly if you can give people the evidence. We're going to switch this to view because you didn't need it anyway, right? Okay, so hope that was helpful. Um, these are all part of the uh, the high speed SOD implementation. Um, pr uh, program that we have. How do you get SOD done really super quickly? So if you're uh, dealing with an SOD challenge, a uh, segregation of duties challenge, uh, please reach out to us. We can get you there super, super quickly by just helping you um, take control of your NetSuite account and your permissions very quickly. This is also useful for anybody who's looking at a messy account. There's lots of other cleanup tools in StrongPoint. Um, this particular set, you know, very powerful, used quite carefully, and uh, definitely talk to our team uh, to get the best practices advice when you need it. Thanks for your time.